Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist here. Well, what do you think these are? Oh, it's a uh, little gel capsules and well, these are lutein and you can buy zeanthine also in capsules like this. And uh, these are about 200 milligram. And really it's a, an amazing thing. If you wanna keep your eye health great for all your life. I think it's really important that you eat a lot of greens and you also supplement with a little lutein and xanthine. It doesn't hurt in the long run. There's no, <laughs> no doubt about that. And it also has a lot of other good effects for the body too, So, which is really amazing stuff. So uh, if you have ever seen anybody with macular degeneration and they're blind, you don't want to go there. <laughs> Absolutely, no doubt about it. I worked for the at Blind Center in Monterey, California, and uh, would go to people's houses and help them that they were blind. And uh, it's something you don't really want to have in your life. There's no doubt about it. So uh, supplementing with uh, a little bit of lutein or zeanthine it goes a long ways and prevents cataracts also. And um, it's amazing for this because it also works together with vitamin E and it's even more beneficial when you use that to prevent cataracts. So a little vitamin E, a little xanthine, xanthine and uh, lutein, well, you're going to be seeing uh, with healthy eyes for a long time to come. I personally have also found that if I take like 100 milligrams a day, I find that uh, my floaters start to decrease. You know, I've had the floaters. you ever seen floaters are moving around in your eyes. <laughs> uh, taking that, those uh, 100 milligrams a day, excuse me, not, not 100 milligrams, 1,000 milligrams a day actually decreases those floaters. So taking like five of these. Uh, every single day so really makes a difference and seems to decrease them and they just don't seem to come back that's per personal experience with that so I find it very interesting also lutein helps with eye fatigue and glare and light sensitivity if you you know have problems with light sensitivity and uh, retinopathy uh, it strengthens the eyes in general and helps with more acute vision so you can see better. Other interesting things is that it helps to have fewer um, white cells and you have less inflammation going on to, and so you have less things attacking everything and uh, you don't have the clogged arteries that you normally would do, have by taking xanthine, of course, with my diet, paulhater.com, and go and click on my diet, follow that diet, eat a lot of greens, and that'll help you to get rid of the inflammation in your body. Helps to perfect, per, uh, prevent problems with our skin, just like vitamin E does, and uh, uh, actually helps with the aging of the skin and prevents uh, excessive aging of the skin. Also helps to slow down the possibility of having uh, colon cancer, cervical cancer, lung cancer, breast cancer, all these kinds of cancers because it's a huge antioxidant and prevents these type of cancers from happening in our life. You know, diet, diet, diet. It really goes back to that. Mild cognitive re uh, problems like dementia can be really improved with, by taking lutein, zeanthine, there was a study done in 2017 that showed uh, young people and healthy adults actually improved their memory and improved their cognitive function uh, when they were taking these two supplements. Also, another one, uh, Aging Neurosciences, showed that uh, actually we had more youthful cognitive responses when we were taking those supplements. Also, another study was done showing that uh, we could actually prevent uh, pigmentosa of the retina and so very interesting and it also has benefits to our gut also because it is a powerful antioxidant and we can help 
help prevent, you know, the breakdown of the gut and, and prevent autoimmune disease also. So it's amazing how many benefits there are. Also, lutein and xanthine uh, can help to regulate blood sugar. And if you have diabetes or if you're headed in that direction with pre-diabetes, you might want to take some lutein and xanthine and to slow this process down and probably even stop it. Improves lung, lung function. Now, if you have, uh, you know, problems with your lungs, absolutely a good idea is to supplement with some of these wonderful supplements with xanthine and lutein. They also... If you have congestive heart failure, it actually decreases the severity of some of the problems that go along with congestive heart failure. So that's another big plus. I mean, I think there's not a whole lot that helps with the congestive heart failure other than hawthorn berry, but uh, this can help in a, in a great way also. It improves our uh, uh, cholesterol. It can lower our LDL cholesterol and increase our LDL, HDL cholesterol, uh, which is a really good thing. And there's not a whole lot that increases our HDL or good cholesterol. So these xanthine and uh, lutein are really important. Also, there was a study done with over 300,000 people about uh, coronary risk, uh, coronary disease, strokes, and and metabolic syndrome, and they found that these all went down when people were taking lutein and xanthine. And helps with stress and uh, also inflammation. And uh, also, it found that a lot of green leafy vegetables, yellow vegetables, you know, also things like pumpkin and things like that, where you find normally we find a lot of vitamin A also with which is great, and your kales and your broccoli and all these different types of things. These are really important. I have talked about greens so many times. Greens are super important, but people seem to not eat their greens every day. And that, I am telling you, greens are life-giving. Also, it reduces inflammation in the body. And if you Zeanthine and lutein help you with arthritis and inflammation in general in the body. A 12% reduction in, in uh, inflammation and also coronary heart disease and atherosclerosis, and, uh, which ultimately end up going towards heart attacks. An 18% reduction in stroke and a 25% reduction in uh, having metabolic syndrome, which leads to disease. <laughs> so, uh, also a lowered fasting glucose. At, uh, ele their uh, triglycerides went down, the cholesterol went down, and all these people were on these studies. So, I think it's super important that we allow ourselves to supplement with something which that really doesn't have any side effects, you know, unless you were taking, you know, bottles upon bottles of this stuff. I guess you would probably end up with the same thing with eating a whole bunch of broccoli. <laughs> if you sat down and ate, you know, 45 pounds, you're going to get diarrhea after a while. <laughs> so, and there's other studies showing that, uh, with other cognitive Studies showing this college students actually improved the scores when they uh, were taking lutein and xeanthine. Um, it's a clear, absolutely clear as glass, in protection for our eyesight. And it is really great for inflammation and keeps away these eye diseases. And you want to do that. And I, it can also help with cancers, and the cancers, uh, which is really, really big nowadays, I'm telling you, so anything we can take to prevent cancer is going to help in a big way. What about dose? The minimum dose I would recommend is 10 milligrams per day uh, and of lutein and 2 milligrams of xanthine. Uh, but if you want to, I think, I take like 200, this is 200 here, and uh, a lot of people even take more, so uh, I think it, you can't, really can't overdo it. It's a really important and safe 
supplement, which is good for your health. It's just an antioxidant. It's a powerful antioxidant. And even in parts of the eye, you see little yellow areas. That's uh, where this pigment goes to, actually in the, in the eye itself. And uh, they're coming up with new antioxidants all the time. You, like I said, you can also find it in turnip greens and collard greens and in corn and Brussels sprouts and all kinds of things. So I think it's really important that we take care of our eyes, allow ourselves to take a few supplements that will help us. A lot of people who don't eat right, especially if you have older people in your family and they are not eating right and they refuse to eat right, <laughs> and you can help them by, you know, giving them some supplements like this to keep their vision going. I mean, that's really important. And one thing about my wife's mother, who's 93, she takes a lot of supplements. And 93, and she takes supplements. She, <laughs> we'll be talking about somebody, you know, an older person, and she'll say, well, they should take the supplement. <laughs> I find it so very interesting. But supplements can help in a great way. There's no doubt about it. And the cost is offset. Even some uh, insurance companies will pay for supplements also. Not all of them, uh, but they are, you know, signing up with, uh, if you have Medicare or something like that. Uh, some insurance companies the, uh, will have a whole list of vitamins and things that you can buy over the counter or you can get a prescription for and fill every day, every month and you and they will pay for that. So that's really good and very important. And taking vitamins is very important. I mean, we don't, in fact, most of our fruits and vegetables don't have the same vitamin profile at, that they did uh, back in the 50s, our soils are depleted, uh, and we are not regenerating those soils. But the organic farmers are regenerating the soils, and so we have hope that things will change in the future. And so if you want to have really great eyesight, and I do, I, mean, I love photography, and I've always been taking pictures all my life, and so I want to be able to see nature, and I love nature photography. And so if you want to be able to see, to do whatever you're doing, you know, su supplement your life with a little lutein, zeanthine, and uh, allow yourself to have the vision that you deserve way into your 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 100s, and above. And especially if you're in your 60s, you should, and 50s and 60s, you should start supplementing with some of these uh, eye supplements. Uh, it's hard to go back once the disease starts going. There's no doubt about that. We need to take supplements to prevent, and it's easier to prevent than it is to try to reverse disease once it gets going. So I highly recommend that you take lutein like this and zeanthine It'll make a difference in your life, and you'll feel great. And from there, you can stay healthy. You know, I just turned 65, and uh, I feel great. I don't have an ache or a pain or take any medications or anything. And I think it's really important. That I think everyone can live to be over 100, absolutely, positively. But uh, the problem is we need to eat organic because there's so many chemicals in our food from 30 to 50 chemicals nowadays. And so we need to get rid of all that toxins. And so uh, you can, if you go to my diet, which is on paulhater.com, I show you how you can order organic food for less than the cost of regular food in the markets. And thank heavens now, I oh, just noticed one of the stores here put in a huge organic section because people demand it. They want the, the organic foods. <clears throat> and grow your garden. Grow your garden. It's simple. Seeds are cheap. Absolutely cheap. Save your seeds <laughs> for the next year also. And you know, it's simple. You, if you don't have a space for a garden, then put it in your living apartment. Mix, have some pots on your uh, uh, patio there, and you can grow all kinds of different vegetables, and it works out great. Um, and even some things you can grow on your windowsill, like over to your kitchen, the herb garden there. It was really great. Just pick off some and put it into your food. Uh, so 
allow yourselves to eat naturally, eat simply, and allow yourself to take a little supplements that will help your vision, help your life, help your uh, pr to prevent cancer, help you to prevent uh, high cholesterol, help you to prevent metabolic disease, and on and on. So if you want to get a hold of me, click on show more down there and I'll be glad to help you. All my consults are free. Uh, please subscribe and tell others. I greatly appreciate that. Uh, also, all my information about my email and everything is down below in my phone number. So feel free to contact me anytime. And if you care to make a donation, that is greatly appreciated. And the link is down below. So have a wonderful, wonderful day. And remember, most of all, above everything else, I love you.